if you do powerpoint presentations in microsoft teams and you're not using the powerpoint live feature here are five reasons why you should absolutely start using powerpoint live let's get started when we want to share a powerpoint presentation in microsoft teams we have several options when i click on the share button I can share a PowerPoint presentation by using the share screen option or share a window option. But today we are going to look at the third option of sharing PowerPoint, which is the PowerPoint Live. Think of PowerPoint Live as PowerPoint on steroids. To start sharing a PowerPoint that is on your computer, select this option, browse my computer, navigate to the folder that has the PowerPoint and then click on the open button. After a few seconds, you will get your PowerPoint live view. Let's look at reason number one why you should use PowerPoint live. It's so much easier. You have your PowerPoint slide, which the audience is viewing, but at the same time, you get to see all the slides at the bottom of the screen. On your right are the slide notes. You can use these notes to make sure that you don't miss anything while doing the presentation. It's very easy to get a bird's eye view of all the slides that are in your presentation. You can switch to a different slide with a click of a button and the relevant notes for that slide will be shown to you on the right hand side. If your presentation has more slides than can fit on the screen, click here for the grid view and then quickly locate the slide that you want. Click on it and you are back to the main PowerPoint live view. Reason number two is you can interact with the audience using the interaction tools. At the bottom here, we have a laser. You can even draw a line with the laser. We have a pen, which you can use to draw attention to some aspects of your slide. It also has a highlighter that you can use to highlight some parts of your presentation. If you made a mistake, click on the eraser and you can quickly erase. Reason number three is you can allow the audience to move back or forward even while you are on a different slide. This is especially helpful when you are in the middle of a presentation and somebody just turns up for the meeting and they want to catch up. They can go back or forward to make sure they are all caught up. If you want the audience to stay on the slide that you are currently presenting, then come and click this button. This prevents the participants moving forward or backward through your presentation. The fourth reason to use PowerPoint Live is the standout mode. When you want to stress a particular point, you can bring in your camera into the PowerPoint presentation. You do that by clicking on standout mode over here. And now you are embedded within the presentation. If you want to use the standout mode, make sure that you have a good light and a powerful laptop. To stop the standout mode, click on content only. Now PowerPoint will only show the slide. Reason number five is the translation feature. If you have an audience that will be more comfortable in a different language, PowerPoint Live has a built-in translation feature. All you have to do is click on these three dots and translate slide and choose your language. As of now, there are several languages available, but let me choose Arabic. And voila, the entire PowerPoint has been translated to Arabic. Now, when I switch to a different slide, you can see it in a different language. To go back to English, click on the three dots, translate slide and select original. Once you're done with your presentation, select this option, stop presenting. And this will bring you back to the main window. The next time you have a PowerPoint to present in a Microsoft Teams meeting, you know what to do. PowerPoint Live.